Welcome to my house. Ruppy Buckle here and you're fishing with Uncle Buck. Well, we finished up all of our required missions over there at the Ron River in Bolivia. We've got one to do. Well, actually, there's two missions. Um, you need to get this. You need to catch all those uni, the uni catfish I was talking about, over 100 pounds and, and um, what do we need there? Ten. We had a, uh, a flat flat whiskered we had to have over 10 pounds uh, a gilded over 100 a red tail over 100 uh, the rip saw over 16 and a half and the cerubim over over 12 so once you get them then you got the 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 speaker sinker hence lies my problem fellows I've got a bit of a conundrum going on here <clears throat> let's jump over there and take a look at just exactly what I'm talking about. Now, we're going after the whaling catfish. We gotta we gotta equip the speaker sinker on here, okay? Made by these guys here. Follow the sounds to them. Okay, now here's the problem that I have. So I'm gonna point this out so you guys don't fall into the same trap that I did. Now I got two poles here, two two big bottom poles that I can hunt him on. Got the humorous 11-1, he's a 72.7 pound pole. Okay, and then I've got my McConzi 12-10, he is an 81 and a half pound pole. So I'd rather, I wanna hunt him on this pole. Here's my problem. This pole can only handle nine and seven eighths ounce total. This speaker weighs eight and four fifths. When you put this speaker sinker on there, you can't put any bait on here other than a dead lambari fish. <clears throat> Everything else, all the other bait's too heavy. It's extra heavy. Even the uh, raku minnow, extra heavy. Chicken litter, ex extra heavy. Crawfish, extra heavy. So you can't put none of this on here. It's too heavy for the pole. So, if I want to use chicken livers, I can't use this pole. I got to go to my humerus, which is 10 pounds lighter. However, it'll handle more weight. I can put that speaker sinker on him and I can run chicken liver. So there's there's my problem. But I looked in the, on the leaderboards here. These guys can run up to 200 pounds, a little over 200, 218 I think is 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 the top the top guy right now. So I'm going to give it a whirl with the dead lambari. They I mean that's a good bait. I've been using it while I've been here. It's part of my arsenal that I brought my ammo and I've been using them up. So I'm going to I'm going to go with it. And we'll see we'll see what happens. If, if we can't get him up on this, then we'll, of course we'll have to switch over to the other stick. All right guys, well with that being said, let's see here where we're we going to hunt him. It says here, oh, let's go back here to the missions. It says Cross the water in the evening to find the catfish habitat. So, all the fishing that I've been doing here at night has been over here at Anku. And that's where I catch them at night constantly. And I got a big 144 pounder there. Uh, my 167 pounder was out of the main channel here. But we're gonna head over here since he says nighttime. We're gonna go with this. It's 5.53, we're coming up on the night. So, I'll see you. Nine o'clock. All right, guys, I'm back. It is 9.03. I'm equipped. Ready to go. We got the little speaker sinker on there. I got some Dev Lambari. Eight odd hook. And this is basically anywhere in here. There, all the catfish come out of this. It's kind of like a hole out there. So it doesn't mean there's no real one spot that you're going to catch any one type. That I catch them all from all around in there. I just throw out there. That's all. So throw this guy out there. You only got one. I was I was trying to get myself up there closer to uh, closer to the 1,300 pound max on my fish net. So this guy, hopefully, I was hoping to get him close to 200 pounds, me over. But we didn't quite get there. We didn't get close enough, so we probably won't go over with this guy, even if he is big. Hmm, already? I don't think so. All right, guys, we we'll back. All right, guys, we got our first bite here. I don't know if it's going to be him or not, but... Doesn't feel like no 200 pounder. Uh, 
as you know. Mmm. Mm. Big one. The smallest one was that I looked on the leaderboard, they only showed 20 slots, so I don't know why there's only 20 of them, but number 20 was 166 pounds. My union was 167, so I guess, you know, this could be him down in the 160 range. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Well, I don't think this is him at all. Nope. 87 pounder. We'll keep him. He's not him. All right, fellas. Going back at it. I might have to. I might have to. Oh, that's going to be terrible if I have to extend. I don't want to go over. I don't want to blow over. We'll be right back. Oh, I think we're back already. Didn't even get to put it in the rod stand. Nice rattling. Let's see. There you go, buddy. This ain't him, that's for sure. Yeah. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Hi, right, guys, I'm back. He was a gilded catfish. Not what we wanted. Back at it. See you in a bit. Well, guys, that's not him, but 47 pounds, that's gonna put me over. So, um, let me see if I can work a little magic. I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I'm back. I was able to dump a few silver croakers, got myself just back under. So, we got one more shot at this fish with this fish net. Hopefully this will be this this will be the lucky cast. I don't know. Alright guys. I'll be back. Alright guys, here's what we're gonna do. <clears throat> I've got a 53 pound because if I keep this guy I'm gonna be over by 50 pounds. Basically. Because I'm two pounds shy, I'll be over by 49 pounds. So I've got a 53 pounder here that I could actually get rid of. He's 3,096 because I'm getting 3,280 for this fish. So I can make 280 bucks in this transaction and still stay and still be back under and still fish for fish for the other guy. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep this one. And that'll put us over by 50 pounds. Now let's go over here to the fish keeper. All right, now, I don't want to get rid of all these because I can get rid of 50 pounds. That's, that really does add up to a, to a lot of money here. Um, so we'll do this quick and easy. So we'll just go find that 53 pounder. And five of them fish. There, see, that's five. That's almost $5,000 I'd do to get rid of five 10 pound fish. So you don't want to do that. So let's go down here. Or is that 53 pounder? Right there. Or 3096, because there's the 51 pounder. How much are we over by? 415. Right. Okay, that's 49 pounds. So, all we gotta do is get rid of a 49 pounder. It's cheaper than that. There's one there, 49, a gilded 28, 48, that's not quite enough. We need the 49 pounder, so 28, so we're gonna make more money than that because we've got 32, so we made a couple of bucks for this and we'll get rid of this guy. Ah, oh, I didn't do my math right. Oh yeah, I did. Boy, did we get that right. 0 0.4, 0 0.8, we're under.
That's all we need. All right. Come back and fight like a man. We live to fight another day. Okay, guys. I don't know how many more times I can do this. <laughs> we'll be back. Well, oh, guys, I'm back. I doubt very seriously if this is him, but it's gonna pull us over. Well, we're gonna have to try to pull some magic again. Alright, I'll see when we get him in. Now another 54 pounder. Alright, let me see if I can got one in there if I can make some money on it. I'll be right back. Alright guys, well, looks like we can do this again. I've got one in my bag here, 54.347, that'll cover him, and he, I only got 31.42 for him, I'm getting 34, so we'll make a couple hundred bucks on this fish, so we'll keep him, we'll keep him and we'll get rid of this one and we'll be back under, alright, I'll see you in a minute, okay guys, we're back, we've made a couple hundred bucks on that fish, and we're back under our limit, barely, but that's all it takes. That's all it takes. Alrighty. Back at one more try at this guy. I'll see you later. I'll follow some back. This one here run out. He hit this thing and run out 170 feet real fast and hard. Um, I don't know. He seems to be coming back a little bit easier. But he might not be as big as I thought he was. He's just acting tough. I don't know. We'll see. I'll be back when I get him a little closer. Well, guys. Predicament, predicament. And four pounder. Hmm. I know I ain't got one in there to replace him on this one. Let me take a look. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. It doesn't look too good <clears throat> at this point. I think we maxed out. I don't have a combination of fish in here um, that I can get rid of <clears throat> to, re to, to replace this 104 guy that I just brought in. I can get rid of this this 100-pounder and then a 3.9-pounder I'd need to get rid of, and that that's that's still I'm getting rid of $8,200 to make 8000 So I, I'm, I'm losing money. So at this point here, it's a done deal. We just take that last 104 pounder on top of it, which is, I mean, that, that that's a nice day, $106,000. Not bad. However, what we'll have to do now is I'm going to have to extend, and that'll put me into the next morning. So this, pretty much this night trip is over. So I'm going to extend, and then I'll fast forward to 9 o'clock. The next day, day 8, we'll go into 9 o'clock that night. And uh, we'll start from there. See if we can grab this guy. We'll have a fresh, clean net. I'll see you later. All right, guys, I'm back. Lovely. We got rain. Rommers in the toilet. But, got an empty net. What was I doing? Oh, that's where I caught that 104 pounder down there. I was like, where the hell was I at? All right, guys, this is it. We'll be back at it. All right, guys, I'm back. I figured this shit out, finally. I couldn't get this speaker thing. Did you hear that? He's here. That's what you gotta, you gotta listen for. You gotta follow that around. So I come out here, that's, that's the big catfish spot out there, so. I'm just gonna throw right out here, fellas. I think he's here. Yeah, I had to get in the boat. I just started driving around to different spots where I know there's red. There we go. Where there's red tail catfish. So I heard this sound. So, see what happens from here. I'll be right back. Well, fellas, I think we got him. Boy, did he hit. been a while getting him. I chase this whaling all around the damn river. Oh boy, we're going for a ride now, aren't we, Buck? Yeah. 
That sound is everything. You gotta be facing it. I, I turned. I was fishing on the wrong side of the river, and I turned around, and the and the damn wailing got louder. Stay under the boat. Wait, going right back to where I caught him. Try, try to go back there and hide. I definitely know this guy must be him. He's just basically hugging the bottom. I can't get him up off the bottom. Up a little deeper hole, did you? Go. Okay. dance now. I dance with you all day. Too shabby there, fellas, huh? All right, we'll keep him. Mission accomplished. What do we get for that? 17,000 there, 22 grand there, and two Bitcoin. And of course, I get my plaque. Gotta have my plaque put on the wall. All right. I am that plaque. Oh, my backpack's full, but it should go in there. All right, fellas. Nab Tim. Let's mark that spot. Where I forget. I don't think we can catch another one, though. Now, you got to pay attention to that whaling. That's the thing. All right, here we go. Oh, this one might get me uh, on the leaderboard. All right, fellas. I'll be right back. Well, fellas, that completes the whaling catfish mission in the Mon River, Bolivia. That was a tricky one. Um, I didn't realize in the beginning, that's why I was back there at uh, Anku. And I spent the whole first night sitting there, and I didn't know that I had to be chasing this noise, the speaker, the, the wailing. Uh, there was no wailing going on <laughs> that night back there, so that's not where he was. So I got out on my boat, went around, and it's 
Basically, as long as you've got that speaker equipped, you don't need to have the pole in your hand. You can drive your boat around until you hear the wailing. It'll, it'll, it'll start and you'll hear it at a distance and you just got to keep going until you get zeroed in on it and it gets really loud. And even as much as turning around and facing the other direction, it'll get louder or softer whether or not you're in the right spot. And that, once I was finally on to that, didn't take me long to nail them. So, hope that helped you out. Remember to hit that like button. Join the club. Subscribe. Hit the little bell for notifications when I get a new one out there. And you can follow me on Facebook too. Never ever give up the fight. Sometimes you just got to dance to a different tune. But you'll always get results. We'll see you later. Oh, my God.